Hey troops, Judge Smith here back for the showcase. This time I'm showcasing Crown Army Customs Commander Bly. I am particularly excited for this minifigure because unlike the other minifigures I have reviewed from Crown Army Customs, this one I do not have a comparison for because LEGO did not make a version of it. So this version is the only version I have or we've ever seen of a Commander Bly. That is understandable however, LEGO didn't make a version mainly because he isn't that main of a clone trooper. We saw him in two episodes of the Clone Wars and that very brief scene in episode 3 at Order 66 when he executed a Sakura. So it's understandable LEGO wouldn't choose to make a minifigure out of him. After all, they didn't even make a Phase 2 Commander Cody, so what can we really expect? Anyway though, I'm excited to get Commander Bly because even if he wasn't in Crane Main Trooper, I do like him and why doesn't a particularly main personality, like he's not one of the clones that really sticks out in terms of, oh that's obviously Commander Bly, you still have to get him, I like his printing, I like the colour scheme and various things like that. Uh, but yeah, overall a very nice trooper. I'm glad Clarence Customs made them. There are a few other sites I believe make them, such as Minifix for you, and I think a couple other custom sites, I'm not entirely sure. Nonetheless, though, I'm here now with Clone Army Customs Commander Blahe. So let's go straight in and start off with the legs. As with many other clone troopers, there's nothing particularly special about Commander Bly's legs other than the colour scheme. Now I just want to show you the waist cape. As I've said a couple times, some of these waist capes are getting weathered quite easily. This one's doing alright, but again, I didn't really play with this at all. In fact, I actually got this somewhat recently, like more recently than some of the other minifigures, so you know, it's a little disappointing. Nonetheless, uh, other than the waist cape, which I believe is accurate, it's as accurate as I could make it to the actual colour of Commander Bly. Oops, trying to put it back on stand. Anyway, so you can see there, the printing fairly basic. It is 360, although the only thing 360 about it is the uh, yellow part that goes all the way around, not just like, not the black lines of like, you know, the uh, knee pads and stuff. Nonetheless, of course, we've got the black lines there representing the belt, and you know, got the what are they called? The knee pads there, and of course the colours. Very nice, accurate, not a great deal of printing, not much to say. Let's now move on to the torso. The torso is also relatively basic. It does remind me somewhat of Commander Cozy with the strip going up there, although it doesn't have the two strips on the side. So we can see that the belt does have these yellow markings which are meant to go down. Oops, if I can do it properly. You can sort of see there, they're meant to go through sort of this waist cape, although with the waist cape there, it looks a bit odd. It looks almost like they're cut off. So I'm not 100% about the, that design, although, you know, it's there, so that's pretty nice. Moving on to the arms, you can see this arm does have a little different, and as is this one, or this one is fairly basic. On the right arm, we have these pouches here, which I presume are sort of ammo packs or something like that. There's a nice little extra detail which they added, very nice. Again, no massive comm link, but nonetheless, not the biggest deal. Again, nothing too, too special on this arm, but all well and good. Moving on to the back. Back is also relatively basic. I mean, Commander Bly, in all honesty, is a fairly basic trooper, so not a massive amount to say. Just got this yellow on the back there. Overall, nice being. Just want to talk about this little thing for a second. This is, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called like the pauldron or something. I'm so sorry, I don't know what it's called, but it is meant to be accurate. Now, I have a bit of a thing for this, because the thing is, I guess I would say I prefer the Legos, because Legos is hard plastic, which means you can't bend the arms properly, you can't do it all the way around, so which is a little odd. And of course, as a Lego minifigure, you can't have full articula articulation anyway, but nonetheless... Um, so I don't like that, the fact you can't bend the arm because it's hard plastic. Then again, so I thought fabric was, you know, a good idea. But then again, fabric means it's hard to keep sort of bent, if you will. You know, like you can see, as I try to put it down, it keeps flapping back up. And it takes a long time, a lot of time, it's just like this. And when you're looking from the side, it just looks just, I don't like it, I've got to be honest with you. I wish it was, it was sort of more sturdy. Not as sturdy as the plastic, as I said, but something more sturdy so it stays in place rather than, like, flipping up. But I, think, I suppose it's a fairly minor issue, just something I did kind of notice. Another thing that I will say, I mean, he doesn't have a backpack, although I do have another Clown Customs minifigure, which does have a backpack. If you have this with a backpack, it's even worse trying to put it down because it's just, oh, it's just hard. And before you ask, even if you put the backpack on top of this, it still sort of brings the top up and it's just, it's just not good, really. But nonetheless, you know, it's a fairly minor gripe. I think, I think most people buy these for the look of it. Uh, I bought it more for the action in terms of I'm going to use the stop motions and other things, but still, very nice printing on the torso and the arms. Let's now move on to the helmet. Commander Bly has a fairly standard helmet. Of course, it's the same moulding as all other Phase 2 helmets, but still, the main difference is, of course, the colouring, which is very nice. And you may notice there we have the visor, or binoculars, I believe is what they're officially called. I'm not entirely sure. I added these on. These are accessories you can have. You can also have, I believe, a visor and I think an antenna of some sort. I'm not entirely sure. Nonetheless, I added these onto him, mainly because 
because we saw him use these in the actual Clone Wars episode he was in, I thought I wanted to have him at least some trooper have these sort of binocular attachments. So why not Commander Bly? I think it looks pretty good on him. Anyway, so you can see that the um, yellow, sort of the bright yellow print does go all the way around, which is very nice. Now, I'm not sure this is just wrong with my mini, my mini figure, sorry, or maybe that's just kind of more detailing, but it kind of looks a bit weathered. I think it's actually a cool look. Again, I don't know if that's mine or that's standard or whatever. I don't really know. Nonetheless, uh, this, of course, as you can see with your eyes, assuming you're not blind, um, this is a different shade, not the usual yellow. I mean, I don't really know what to call this. I wouldn't really call it a brown. I suppose a brownish yellow. I'm not entirely sure, but it does give a bit of contrast, a bit of a different colour, which is nice, other than just the yellow and the uh, white. And, of course, this fin on the top of this helmet is also yellow as well. So that's very nice. I believe you can get these um, macros. I'm not sure they're called. I'm sorry. But these binocular type things, these zoom in binocular things, uh, I believe you can get it with a bit of printing, like a, a yellow strip on there. I'm not entirely sure about that. I am sorry, but, yeah, that's pretty cool if you can. Nonetheless, his helmet's very nice. Nothing too, too special. Of course, it's the same mold as a Phase 2 helmet, so it's not a great deal. It's just the printing that really separates him. Nonetheless, so as a minifigure, very nice. That is going to include this my, the, my review. I can't speak now. Thank you for watching my review of Clone Army Customs Commander Bly. As I've said in many of my other Clone Army Customs reviews, a very nice minifigure and in my opinion worth the price tag. This I believe retails for a little less than the average clone trooper. That might be because it's not quite as popular, so maybe not as people would you know uh, like to buy this trooper as opposed to like Commander Cody or Commander Wolf or others. So CC5052 here is still a very nice addition to anyone's Clone Army in my opinion. If you're a big fan of the Clone Wars and you probably are aware of him, even if you don't know a massive amount about him, I mean I'll be honest, I don't know a massive amount about him because I don't really read the comics, I don't really play the games, which I presume he has appeared in more. Nonetheless, he is still a very nice trooper, and I think what really differentiates him is the colour scheme. It is slightly different to uh, Commander Cody's orange, and maybe, you know, some other troopers that are more red, you know, so it is a nice addition, because of course yellow is a primary colour, and now I'm just starting to talk about R. But nonetheless, a very nice minifigure. Nothing too, too special, as I've said a few times, but still worth a purchase if you have the money. In all honesty, not my top five of the minifigures just because he's not that recognisable and while I do think he's worth the money and he's a little cheaper, overall not a big draw that you could find on Clarion Customs. Nonetheless, I will give him a solid 6.5 maybe even stretch for 7 out of 10. Very nice trooper, but in all honesty he's just not that well known, so I can understand why the price is a little cheaper because he's, well, you know, not as going to be as popular. Nonetheless, there we have it. I was going to compare him to something, but unfortunately I don't have anyone to compare him too, because of course he's the only trooper ever. That is a big plus for him, or for Clone and Customs rather, because he's the only time we've ever got this trooper. So that's a big plus for Clone and Customs. Well done for making a trooper no one's ever got before. Although, if you want to get a trooper no one's ever had before in Lego, it's probably more likely to get Fives or Echo or something like that. Anyway! Thank you for watching this review. I hope you did enjoy it. This is going to be my last Clarion Customs review for a little while. There'll be a few different videos now because I've done like four videos, even if they were quite stretched out. I've done four videos from Clarion Customs. I still have three more fin minifigures to review, including Fordo, Bakara, and another person who I can't find at the moment. But nonetheless, uh, stay tuned for that. It'll be a little while, maybe like a month or so later. I don't really know. I'm sorry these were so late. Anyway, thank you for watching all these reviews, and I hope you did enjoy them. I will see you next time in another video, which will be slightly different. So. Enjoy that. Bye, troops. This time I'm showcasing Clone Army. Other than that, however, we have not seen him other than paper the Lego never made a version. After all, he isn't very made. Well, this time I'm so stupid. Unlike the other minifigures I have such reviewed, this one never. Oh god. But still, very nice looking trooper, and I. Oh god. Crap. Commander Bly from Konami. Konami? Konami Customs.